Hi, welcome to Aussie Nomads Destinations. Follow us as we caravan our way around Australia. This is Ed and I'm Beck, and we're finding you the best free and budget camp spots Oz has to offer. Fishing, crabbing and hiking our way through this awesome country. We are heading to A.H. Young Campsite, a free camp situated at 1260 Buckland Road, Buckland. So we have just hit the Great Alpine Way. Look out mountains, here we come. So we are at Porcupanya. 25 kilometres southwest of Bright, down the Buckland Valley. It's a sealed road all the way in, except for the last two kilometres. There's no internet or phone service, no water or bins. It does have, however, peace and quiet and beautiful views up the mountains. A drop toilet, fire pits, and you can have a fire when there's no bands in place. You can bring your dogs. There's a beautiful creek for you to swim in. And the closest town is Pork Panya and then Bright. Bright has pretty much everything you need. Well, Capanya had fuel and a pub, and there was a water available in the park. This has been one of our favourite sites. It's very close to Mount Buffalo. After setting up, the first stop was the creek for a swim. It's a tad cold down here for us Queenslanders. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> Warms up once you get in, but hey. So middle of the day swims are a must. We had some wood in tow and I have been itching to try out this fireplace. With a little bit of persuading, we got it to work. This campgrounds was about five kilometres up the Buckland Road, past where our campgrounds was. So we are at Camp Flat. You gotta drive across the little creek. How cute this! You need to cross this little creek to get into the campgrounds. You need a little off-road up. Very beautiful. The entry to the creek would have been way too steep for our van, but it was a really nice area and right beside the creek. Good area. Bit of flat, bit of trees. We followed the road for a bit until we found it got a bit rough two rivers meeting and then called it and headed back to Mount Buffalo. Today we are heading up to Mount Buffalo with the anticipation that we are going to climb the horn but we'll see how that goes we may do that on Saturday. Welcome to the Mount Buffalo National Park. So we are arriving at the Mount Buffalo Chalet. 1,337 metres. You must have been able to see through that one that's so long time we go. of the earth. These lookouts are about 45 kilometres for a 53 minute drive from the campgrounds. There are no shops or cafes at the National Park. There was a little coffee van right up at the lookout, but I'm not sure what time it opens. But there was nothing else. So bring your picnic lunch with you. There are toilets and picnic tables at the lookout.
air are the rocks up here to find somewhere to have lunch and then we're going to go climb the horn. The boulders up at Mount Buffalo are next level. They are so magnificent. I can't believe we get to spend each day exploring this country. So we are off to climb the horn. Ed's just had his first glimpse at it. That's it just there. It's gonna be epic. How's that for a turn? There it is. That one is. We're up. Let's see how far we get. This would not be the hardest walk for young'uns. But us oldies, well, that's a different thing. The views from the car park are just stunning. So much wilderness. You could sit and look for ages. Mountain after mountain after mountain. But there's a track to be climbed. The whole walk is only one kilometre and takes about 45 minutes. It's a goat track, so let's go do it. Go on. It's a very interesting climb with awesome views and rock steps. And it's a challenge to take it on with a great feeling when you get to the top. We are on top of the world. We're nearly there. Last bit. Thank goodness for the handrail. Oh my God. We didn't. Hey. Nice. He didn't know what we were talking about. <sighs> How unreal is that? Unrollers with seat. Back to the car we go. It's a lot easier going this way, I gotta tell you. So we really want to go camping up at Falls Creek. And so today we are going to take the mountains over the top to Mount Beauty and then up to Falls Creek to see if we can get that caravan up there. Anyway, we're going to take you for a ride with us. So we are at Tawonga Gap, 895 metres above sea level. 
There's all my white formula as usual. There's Mount Beauty down there. How magical is that? There we are, 690 metres above sea level. And now we are at Bogle. Let me see then. That is a massive slide. Isn't that insane? Any wonder she's been closed. There it is. It'd be terrifying being up there. We are arriving at Falls Creek. Okay, so these signs on these poles say keep right up the poles. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, we can do that. We are still keeping right of these poles. Those Lord knows we wouldn't want to drive over there. It's a bit steep. Over there. The old mate up here to pedal and his bush bike up the hill. God love them. Don't they have to have that much energy? It's for that. What's the odds there'd be a coffee shop open up here anywhere? A lot of cars up here. What's the odds a chairlift still be running? I'll be fun. Oh, for old mate here, he'll have to sit and watch me. There's people up here everywhere. Don't remember this dam being here last time we were here. This is big. That table right there is beckoning us for lunch. Great views and all. We had about 7,000 flies visit us while we were having lunch. But the colours up here are just gorgeous. So now the Brumby search starts because last time we were up here there was Brumbies. Cute little seat. Out of this view. Last time we came here, there was nothing here, and I sat in that paddock and took a picture of all the flowers. Now we are off to Walla's hut. It's a 700 metre walk. He's still sitting in the car. Look at all them pretty white flowers. These little flowers smell delicious. I don't know what they are, but they smell like jasmine. We are at Wallace Hut. It's got only 15 years since we visited Wallace Hut. It still is beautiful. Get a look at her. Because you have to be able to go in there and have a little look. It's so cute. There's an old table and a broom and a fireplace that you're obviously not allowed to use but you could spend the night in here if that was your thing can you in emergencies hey in an emergency you can stay in here not sure if there's any snakes in there after so it's a bit scary leaving thanks off fella let that door go <laughs> thank you I didn't actually say what I can see when it was built, but it said summer grazing began in the 1850s, so maybe that's where they stayed in the 1850s. It's not flash by any means.
a kid in here all the time. About 10 or 15 years ago, we came up and camped right here. We are 1,714 metres up. So we're going to leave it at that for this week. There is so much to do in this area. We stayed for about nine days. Next week, we're heading up to Mount Hotham and then back up to Mount Buffalo twice. Stay happy, be kind, love your life, and we'll see you next week. Sunday at 6 a.m. and daylight savings done so it's back to normal. Don't forget to hit that like button. See ya!